Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an animal habitat for the forest. Two fingers at the top, put a dot. Two fingers at the bottom on the left, put another dot. On the right hand side, two fingers, put a dot. And on the bottom, two fingers, put another dot. Come back to the left. Starting at the dot, we're going to draw a pretty good sized circle. Come down to the bottom, pretty good sized circle. Top, pretty good sized circle. And the bottom, pretty good sized circle. Okay? Starting on the left, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line down. Connect. Come on the right, wavy, wavy line down. Connect. Come up to the top wavy wavy line across, connect, come to the bottom, wavy wavy line, connect on the bottom. Right here in the center I'm going to write forest, F-O-R-E-S-T, so I don't forget what I'm working on. Okay, I'm going to come in right about here at the top and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down, connect, come next to it, slightly curved line down, connect at the bottom. Right about here at the top I'm going to draw an oval and down here at the bottom I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, curved line down. I come right about here and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line out Slightly wavy line in, connect, and I'm going to draw just some straight, sorry, just some curved lines for texture, and on this side some curved lines for texture also. I come back up to the very top and I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, connect, and now I'm going to start drawing curved line out, curved line in, curved line out, in. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in. Now I come down to the bottom. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in, curve line out, in. Keep going, keep going. Now I come up to the top and I draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. And I come down on the bottom and I draw another curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, where I have room. And in between now I'm just going to put, for filler, some little curve lines. Okay? I come right about here to this point and I draw a curve line in and another curve line and leave it floating. And on the right hand side I'm going to draw one straight line, curve at the bottom, put a spiral, straight line, curve down at the bottom, come up a little bit higher, do your spiral, straight line, curve line down at the bottom, straight line, curve line down at the bottom, and if you could fit one more, start with your spiral, straight line, curve line at the bottom, don't draw through your drawings. Okay, now, so you can see what you're doing, you draw two little curved lines going up, so you can see what you drew. Two curved lines going down on the middle one, keep going, and, <clears throat> excuse me, where you can fit them, two more curved lines on this last one, which you can kind of partially see, and that's okay. I come up to the top of this section, and I'm just going to draw one, two, three little curved lines. One, two. One, two, three little curved lines. One, two, one, two. Okay? Now I come down to this part, and I draw a straight line down, curved line, curved line, straight line down, 
curve line, curve line, straight line down, curve line, curve line. I come back to the top of each one of these straight lines and I draw a curve line in, in, triangle at the top. Curve line in, in, triangle at the top, curve line in, in, triangle at the top. Now, if you have room, just draw one, two, three slightly curved lines and just go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Second one, curve line, curve line. If you can fit, don't worry if you can't, no big deal. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay. Now, come over here to this top circle. We're going to draw a curved line, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down on the right, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down on the left, little curved line on the left, little curved line on the right, straight diagonal up, connect. Put a little curved line right there at the end. Now, we're going to draw straight curve line across. In the center, draw me a curve line and a curve line, curve line. Put one dot, two dots, and this is going to be a raccoon. R-A-C-C-O-O-N. He'll look more raccoony when we color him in. Come over on this circle, little curve line, big curve line, bigger curve line, connect. One, two, three curved lines at the top. One, two, little curved lines. Put a dot. One, two, three curved lines. And now some triangle, 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 triangle. And that is my bird. Come down to this section over here. We're going to draw a little curved line. Straight line down, big curve line, wavy line out. Come in, draw a little curve line, curve line, connect. Little curve line. Let's draw a little curve line out. One, two little curve lines, and put a dot, and another dot. If you can fit two little curve lines, that's my squirrel, S-Q-U-I. R R E L. And down here in this section, draw me a circle, little curved line on the right, little curved line on the left, circle inside, curved line, curved line, curved line, one dot, two dots, and this is a bear. Okay. All of these animals, all of this vegetation, flowers, are all separately listed on my playlist. So if you get stuck and you don't know what you're doing or you want more ideas on what you would find in the forest, go to my animal playlist and my fruits and vegetables and plants playlist and they'll give you some more ideas. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, because I want this to really look green and woodsy. The first thing I'm going to do is take my light green and color in my circles around my animals. And that's just to give you and remind you that all of these animals hide out in the forest in all of the trees and bushes and foliage. Then my meadow, I'm going to make this all light green, all in here. And I'm going to do the inside of my tree branches up here light green. And now I come in with my dark. All of these ins, outs, curved lines, curved lines, curved lines, these are all leaves. These are all leaves for this big tree. So that's all going to be green. This grasslands, the little grasses, these are all going to be dark green. These are my leaves for my flowers. Those are all going to be dark green. And I'm going to do the outside of my entire drawing. 
dark green for my border. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I really want it to look very woodsy. Woodsy, woodsy. Okay? Now, I did a two-tone tree. So first I did dark brown for my lines, texture, and this is my branch. Don't forget your branches. These are the indentations on the tree where you would find like squirrels and stuff. Then I came back in with my lighter brown and colored the whole tree trunk and my branch. So that's all done. I also colored my bare brown. And I think that's it for the browns. Okay, now to add a little bit more color. Oh yes, and I forgot that this is my bush over here and this is green. These are all little dark greens. So if you've got a lot of greens, different greens, you can intersperse all of those. I made my flowers red violet just to change it up a little bit. If you have a gray crayon you can do your squirrel gray and your raccoon can be gray and you can do all the noses black and you can go around your eyes of your raccoon don't totally take it out do your noses here's your bear come over and we can add a little bit of color on the bird so I'm going to do orange bring in my red violet again for my feathers and we'll make the nest yellow just for a touch of color I'm going to leave these trees alone and I'm going to color in the whole entire thing background sky blue this section too okay but you want it to be kind of dark and green and very very woodsy that's the best adjective I can think of, woodsy, for the forest. Now, you can add more animals, different animals, different plants, different flowers. It's all up to you. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my forest all colored in. One last reminder, you can see different kinds of animals and uh, vegetation for the forest on my playlist on my channel. Okay, bye-bye.